Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Monday, July 17, 2017, and welcome to Mostly Walking, the best show on the internet, and if no one else agrees, it's because they just haven't gotten there yet. I'm Sean Plot. I'm Bill Grainer. And I'm Sean Bouchard. Today we continue our adventure on Thimbleweed Park. Ear, 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 ear. And as you know, we typically do an introduction that takes most of part one, and we're going to go ahead and get yeah. that one underway right now by welcoming the lovely co-host Bill Grainer, Sean Bouchard. Bill, I want to start with you. I didn't even get the chance to say hi, because I just went live and then you joined in. How the hell are you, man? Uh, good. I'm doing good. I uh, had to get my, my crap together, had to take a shower. I was sweaty today. Today was a sweaty day mm. on the Caltrain. You get that, you get that, you get, okay, here's how it is. You, 90 degrees, 90 to 100 degrees on the Caltrain platform, right? And uh, let's say, like, South Bay. And then you get on the train. And this so is after you, you've cooking. been scootering for upwards of well, minutes. No, I, I, I had to, oh, God. I couldn't scoot for a while because I had a scooter-related, uh, like, injury. I wasn't, it wasn't an accident. It's just, what? apparently you reach a certain age and you got to, be careful. You can't so is, as well as you. Is, is the name of this injury shame? Is uh, you is, know it's <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. It was just uh, yeah. Anyways, that we can revisit at some point. But cool. So anyways, I'm walking. It's you know San Carlos is about a million degrees. So I get to this yeah. platform, sitting out there, like a goddamn uh, brunch on a fucking light heat lamp. And uh, and I get in the train. <laughs> good, good. Here's good. here's the uh, here's the Caltrain okay. experience. Is it's yeah. hot, it's hot inside, uh -huh, and uh -huh. there's yes. and there's AC at the same time. So yeah. you you can yeah. feel like this breeze, like a cool breeze in a hot train by by a window full of sun, and you're sitting there, and it's like, it's like your back on the leather seat, your back and your butt are like composting. Yeah, dude, it's so true because like you, you feel the air blowing and there's like a yeah. follow-up sensation which should be the rest of you gets cold but it just stays hot on the train for some reason. It's it's yes. like it's like food that you chew it and you, you like swallow and like nothing happens from the neck down. Like that's the experience <laughs> of like temperature Chinese on the food. Caltrain. It's like Chinese food. <laughs> you eat it and, then, and an hour later you're, you're hungry again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, or like cotton candy, like cotton candy, it's gone by the time you swallow it. Yeah. Uh, right. so, th right. so then you get to yeah. San Francisco, you step outside and, uh, it's clammy there cause it's cold and humid. And then you've got, you've got a clammy sweat back, which is actually also the name of my, uh, autobiography. <laughs> Sweat back. <laughs> it's also my uh, it's also my cousin's name. Uh, it, it, it sounds like a rejected <laughs> a rejected uh, protagonist for Curse of Monkey Island. Clammy <laughs> sweat back. Yeah, it sounds no, really offensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's so close. It's like it's like on the border of. Yeah, it's like a it's like a slur in the world of like the the Golden Compass or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the crows, these clammy sweatbacks never know when to quit. Yeah, it's... Would you like some chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, you destroyed me! That's the thing, that's what fantasy does. Fantasy is like, it's 99.9% .9 the exact same world, the exact same language as our world, and then there's one word, and they're like, that one's dimmit. Different. What the fuck Just, happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you started, that that word started as different, and ended up as epididymis. <laughs> that, that one, I'm having a hard time. I don't know. I mean, I like <laughs> discovered the word. Yeah, it's every every <laughs> time word. I tr yeah. yeah. I didn't trip over my words. That's just how different is said in my new fantasy world. That's just how. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is like the opening to car talk. <laughs> yeah, that's and great. Anyway, don't listen to my brother. <clears throat> if you've got a question, oh. call in. <laughs> oh man, that is so good. Yeah, no, I'm I'm having a hard time today. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that in a little bit. But you, you got your clammy sweat back all the way back to your house. <laughs> you know what that means. It means that there is somebody a, else to talk. 
Hey, okay. Well, dude, Sean, how are you doing? Bill's here and Bill's drinking, and Bill is gonna sweat some beer onto his compost crack later yeah, on on the, on the on I'm, the bus rail. I'm I'm glad that Bill managed to uh, you know commute uh, today. It sounds like it was a challenge. Uh, uh, I'm good. I'm doing well. I I spent the weekend in um, in Utah uh, at. Um, I, this is fascinating. I do not come from a small town. I don't like you. Do you, either of you guys come from small towns? Uh, like, do you have small town experience? Lombard, Illinois. Uh, uh, Leewood, Kansas. Chicago, yeah, I mean, yeah, not not exactly. What about like, Rochester, was... Minnesota, the third largest city in in, in Minnesota. <laughs> 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 I mean, I have no idea, honestly. I don't know Minnesota well enough. Like, Glen Ellen, I lived in Glen Ellen, uh, uh, outside of, of Chicago. Yeah, I know. Really? I, I, did we not know this about each other? I I'm not, I, I feel like this maybe has come up in the past, but maybe not. I didn't know um, that you were also from Chicagoland. I'm, in, I'm from all over. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I, I just... Like we moved every three years until I was fifteen. <clears throat> with the, the, with the was it your parents with the Salvation Army? <laughs> uh, the the cable TV industry uh, underwent a lot of uh, mergers and acquisitions during the uh, the nineties. Um, huh. Uh, yeah. No. 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 It's. I mean. You know. A lot, I get just... that a lot when I when I talk about like growing <clears throat> up. And living in Hampton, New Hampshire, and St. Right. Louis, Chicago, and Boston, and Denver. Uh, it's, yeah, it's starting it's, to sound like Johnny Cash over there. Or a liar. Like, you sound like, like a liar that. or Johnny Cash. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. No, it's, 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 it's either a military family or somebody who worked in, um, in cable TV. Yeah, I, uh, I just thought you were from Colorado. That's just how I see you as a Colorado like, audience. It's, that's how I that's how I identify now because it's easier than listing off all of the states. Uh, I went to high school in Colorado. Like I feel like Colorado was 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 as for, formative a place as any other. But sure. I lived for a few years in in outside Chicago and and Glen Ellen was sort of the closest I got to a small town experience. But I went to a relatively small town outside of uh, Salt Lake City. And in Utah, they have this thing called Pioneer Days. What? Uh, it, it, okay, so Pioneer Days is is sort of like the Fourth of July, but for the state of Utah. It it celebrates like when Utah was founded, uh, and <laughs> they do it big over there. They like, celebrate the fuck out of when Utah got kicked off the ground. It's true. It's true. So it's it was like the best Fourth of July celebration I've ever been to, huh. just on the fourteenth of July. Uh, and then, so, like, I went to a, a small town parade, which was fucking awesome. I mean, like the 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 style of the parade was if you can put together something that could be considered a float, yeah. then get to be in the parade Jeez. Um, oh it's a so, merit-based parade oh. i mean it's, oh. it's a volunteer parade it's like do you want to be in a parade like like come up with <laughs> join the parade that that's so silicon valley all the organizers do is provide the api exactly it was and the awesome. users will make the content they want if to only there was an api for social justice <laughs> um <laughs> sorry SJW.js. Uh, uh, the, the highlight of the week <laughs> was uh, was an event with Splash Dogs. Splash! Oh, Splash Dogs! I Are fucking you saw that, dude. I saw that. I saw. Okay, first. What Splash Dogs? Before, What's before Splash you dogs? explain this, can I just can I just tell people that my experience with this was that I saw it on your Twitter, and I assumed it was something you had found on the internet. And then I saw you in a Splash Dogs post, yeah. and I was like, yeah. no fucking way. Splash Dogs <laughs> sounds like one of those old Nickelodeon shows, like right after Pete and Pete, but before Nickelodeon Guts, you could watch Splash Dogs. 
<laughs> exactly, exactly. It's, I mean, it's the version of a reality show that would have been on in the 90s before we like figured out how to actually monetize that. It would have just been half an hour of Splash Dogs. Splash Dogs is the, is the brand name of a particular instantiation of what is called dock diving. Uh, and dock diving uh, requires very little infrastructure, just like a, a standard dock on a lake. Uh, and you have a dog, and you throw a tennis ball off the end of the dock and see how far the dog will jump into the lake. And so Splash Dogs is they, they bring out this enormous above-ground pool and fill it with water. And on one end, they have a platform and uh, and competitors uh, like bring their dogs up and throw a toy into the water and the dogs jump off of the platform oh, and there's measuring good. tape. And so they, they measure like how far the dogs jump. And uh, it is the, the perfect, most delightful combination of unbelievably well-trained athletic dogs. <laughs> <laughs> like further than you can imagine a dog could possibly jump 25 feet off of this uh off of this platform into the water and then dogs that are scared to fucking death of the water <laughs> trying to like get them like no 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 it's okay go go off the dog oh my Just god I mean, it was... It's Olympic athletes and spe people who've never heard of the sport all competing at the same time. Exactly. Uh, except they're dogs. So That's it's, awesome. You know, it was That's fantastic. Good. Beautiful. That's good. Wow. Yeah. Splash Dogs number one, it was like, <laughs> that looks cool somewhere. Splash Dogs number two, it was Sean in front of a Splash Dog. In fact, I, as I recall, there's a very powerful gif in which the dog just repeatedly jumps over your head and, and i mean if you can you gamble watching... can you bet on the dogs because that's that's the first thing i thought of like michael vick did it wrong with the dog fighting it's the splash dogging that you got to go all in on <laughs> Splash well, well, I'm not in Utah, but uh but i think they tour and i'm sure that you can you can gamble on splash dogs in other states oh my god i gotta go to they t that's amazing I, I would i wonder what it's like to be a roadie There's for splash dogs apparently there's two of them while I was in Utah watching Splash Dogs, there was a whole nother, like, truck that... There was another pool set up in Kentucky or something like that. Like A, a competing dog-dogging... Dog no, brand. it's like a franchise. Like, they it's are... Not dodging. They will, they will take their <laughs> giant love ground pool to whatever small town you've got and... Uh, set it up so that you can watch dogs just jump in the water all day yeah wow. you know uh you know what i've heard is the best breed for for uh for a dog splash dogging mm. is a, a clammy sweatback <laughs> <laughs> you can't get enough they can't get enough oh Oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. You just took your story and plugged it into Sean's story in the most natural way. Oh, that's so good. Um, it's a technique in comedy known as forcing. Um, <laughs> forcing. <laughs> yeah, it's also a callback and uh, and, and, and dot and and cross uh, dotting connecting the dots. Uh, dot, dot splashing. It's <laughs> dot splashing. <laughs> um. Oh, well, dude, that reality. sounds amazing, and we're here telling the story while they're they're doing their revenues for you know Q two, trying to see if dog splashing is going to stay solvent in Q three. Right. Counting counting hundies in the hundy hundos. What's a hundred dollar bill called these days? <laughs> it's a, it's, a, it's a, definitely a hundy. A, a yeah. hound. A I, I, hound th I think it's a one double O smacker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Houndy. Yeah. Mm. Uh... Oh. Anyway. Well, dude, I am where this is going to be an interesting show because I have I watched some video um about okay. procrastination and all these like psychological techniques that humans do to avoid getting the stuff done that they want to get done. Mm -hmm. And like how it's all total bullshit and here are like three ways in which humans 
convince themselves it's okay not to do the thing they're doing or weird habits like I don't want to do my taxes so I'll do the dishes. If you do the dishes, you oh, still have to do the taxes. Right. It's stupid. Like it's not changing the amount of work you're going to have to do on the taxes. You're just making it worse for yourself. Also, you should have done the dishes. Um, <laughs> and the dishes. everything in this video applied directly to me. And <laughs> I, I mean, I already consider myself a reasonably productive person, but like after I watched this thing, I took a two week break because I was, I mean, I didn't do anything. And yeah. since then I, I actually have been the most productive human being known to man. What's, so, so, so can I, <clears throat> what does that mean? Can you, what does that mean? What does what mean? Productive? What is, Are you asking what me is, to define product, the word is, productive? For, for you, what is productivity? Yeah. What, what is it? What do you mean? What is it like? Like what? How would you define it? I, that, I mean, for for some reason, I'm. Listen, let me let me just give you the answer, okay? <laughs> Which is that like. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Did I blow your mind? <laughs> yeah, it's like. <laughs> but what is a product? Yeah, no. I mean, that's it's a, it's a, that sorry. I feel like I am actually able to do an additional forty or so hours of meaningful work beyond the thirty or so hours I'm streaming. Um, Shit, seventy hours. Yeah, but, you know, I've sort of on and off that for a while. And for me, it's like, th this just feels particularly efficient and productive, specifically with doing coding stuffs, just like really mm. dialed in. And well, it's just like weird because there's these little things where you're like, I don't, oh God, I kind of want to do this and that. And just like I, this video just causes that to be like, no, I'm just going to keep doing this. And that feeling is gone in like a few minutes. And after like, two weeks of doing this, I just don't have the urge to do anything but work. And Wait, I just like, how? and I'm, I mean, I was taking reasonable breaks in the evening, but I'm like getting up at seven 30 and exercising and working until show time and then doing the show and being done and Britting and then bedding and then getting up. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't... it's, it's awesome. I feel, I feel like I can move tiny objects with my mind. It's amazing. God. However, however, yeah. um, okay. uh, I, I hired Heroes of Fitness, who's another pair of streamers who do fitness things, to tell me how to become a fit person. And they've given me a workout plan, it's nutrition info, and I, I this morning the workout destroyed me. Like, it was awesome. It was it was the, it was the positive awesome kind of destruction, except my thighs are exhausted. And I'm not used to having exhausted thighs. I'm not used to that. So I'm wobbling yeah. around like a newborn goat, like while I'm trying to like <laughs> make coffee. Like, ah. I like, like got a in the shower. Goat trying to make coffee. Yeah, no, and I like I like got in the shower and I just was like, oh fuck. And I just like had to sit down in the shower. And sitting down in the shower is awesome. That's like that's like an important pleasure that everyone needs to experience in their life. But I was not ready for this so i just get down and there's like the pointy water just like hitting me in the face and i was like ah and i'm literally <laughs> after this workout i'm all i'm sitting on the floor of my shower going ah and like the cat is like right here real curious what's going on she's like looking at me through the clear plastic screen Amazing. yeah so would you call it rock bottom then or no <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um yeah i mean like it went away after a little bit after like sitting and shit yeah <laughs> but oh it felt fucking good so, so and, what did you what is how did you what is it that made you this made you so productive what are these rituals that you're accomplishing or, uh is it big thing is ultra regulated sleep and eating like oh, shit. you know i used to like get up at um pretty regular times during the weekday and then the weekend yeah. i would like stay up late and try to sleep in but then i would like get up early because my body wanted to but then i'd be kind of tired so it feels sort of weird you know that sort of thing so i'm feeling great i'm feeling good and now i'm having a little bit of wine okay. and yeah. uh let's play a video game okay all right <coughs> sorry i'm <coughs> coughing so much i uh took an inhaler and then that makes all the goodness come out oh that's great <laughs> that's how inhalers work <laughs> inhaler Okay, so I remember we were trying to do something. I think I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. We need Jim. That's what we were doing. Siri Leano. Siri Leano. Doesn't that uh, mean? Uh, doesn't that mean swan in Italian? 
I have I have literally no idea. Signatiano. All right, so it's, it is thirty-five seventy-two, and I remember we like tried to do this. Help! I'm trapped in the sewer. Please call the authorities and let them know. Yes, it's me again. Okay, sorry. Oh, we we did connect to Jim's I, yeah, I, yeah. 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 One, two, one, two. Oh wait, wait a minute, guys, guys, look at this. We can actually okay. go to definitely, race. Definitely, Agent Ray's notebook. We're gonna look at this notebook, and it tells us what the fuck we need to do. I, I fucking love that so much. Feels so good. Mm. Find the mushrooms in the sewer. Fingerprint the murder weapon. Find the murder weapon. All right, we need to take a blood swab from the body. Blood Do we have swab. anything that can swab? Uh, we have an empty tuna can. Yeah. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Uh, I don't know at all what we're supposed to do. Pass oh, there's the hint line flyer. Okay. Oh, Park Arcade. We haven't gone into the this. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Of course we haven't. We haven't talked to the Lady of the Evening yet. So we're. St I feel like we were still in the stage of feeling out where the boundaries of the world were. No, definitely. We when we opened here? up like some new parts I'm of sorry, this town, yeah. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics uh -huh. Edmund family, and I'm oh. waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. On the bus. All right, let's ask Shad about the body. Do you know anything about the body by the Going way? in. Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Yes. I mean, I'm just yeah. going to ask her. It feels very ask obvious. Her. Here we go. Tell me who you think Sex is connected to the enough. body. Well, I, mean, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually, no, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Ba -na -ba -na. Wait, what? <laughs> Ma'am. Please tell me what you know. I'm gonna press. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. <laughs> she abandoned our <laughs> family <laughs> and the business to become a... <sighs> well... Pirate? To become a pirate? All center operative? Flooring inspector? Pirate? I'm a pirate. No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... Oh, I like this little game. A video game developer. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh god, Hazy. She only wanted one flash. thing to be a game designer for that awful Back. game Back. company. Mucus Phlegm. <laughs> I did something else for her, but wow. no. She was too Oh selfish. god. Only wanted to make stupid this adventure is, uh, games. This is such an in joke. I've got is this like Ron Gilbert's like Autobiography kind of thing. It's like his computers. swan song. But I just want to design games. I Whoa. wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Flem Games. Now yes. the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. What's that called? In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's around Lame yet. Bro. Edge. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> PC lamer. Wait, uh -oh. this is an, you, this is an you, interactive flashback. Hold on, I'm trying. I like. I don't know what my cat's no, trying are, to do. You are clearly. You're stuck. You are. She's uh, going up. She's coming down. Cat. I actually think that she's about to make a, a circuit. There she goes. On. There she goes. she goes. That was good. Nope. That good, was good. good, good. Here, good. let's give you. Let's give you some tummy rubs. That was a good lap. That was nice and hard. All right. That's, that was. My cat is not like that cat. It was a very tough, tough lap. Cat's gotta lie down after that. I can feel the weight. <laughs> Find the ideal job. Check mags. Okay. Escape from Timberweed Park. 
I heart basic. Okay. Walking I heart basic. These are part of my action figure collection. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Oh my god, it's baud. It's Grease Lightning! I remember when I was pumped about my 9600 baud modem. Yeah. And the big debate was 28-8K versus 56K, man. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman's School of Mathematics. It's these are in mint condition. No way I'm going to touch them. All right, Susie Boy's red gel decoder. It's a red Sorry. gel decoder. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected cat. to my computer. What a fucking Wait, very good cat you're three... such a good. What's that's a different number, right? That's a lower number than all of the numbers. No, in the modern everything's day. a three thousand. I thought they were all three thousand. Are they all three thousand? Okay. They're so all this, 3, is like, this seems like the, uh, the beginning oh, of the tangent universe that... where their vacuum tube hero. world branched off of ours. I'm where they're what? The because see, like now her world, she has like a Commodore sixty four and stuff, whereas like. In the modern day in this game, there's no more computers, really. Your there's just... Rebel. I think right, it's all machine Trons. Was a much better it's, name. Uh, it's all um, vacuum tube-based, right? Yeah, so this is like... For my monthly computer magazine, yeah. being here would totally suck. Totally suck. Turtly. Su it, would, it would suck in a way that's very turtly, not very chameleon-y. Put a bomb in it. Oh. Whoa. The gastrointestinal room. Pretty dark in here. Are these consistent paths? Consistent paths. Like if I go back in through Pretty here. Pretty dark in here. It is? And are they connected? Pretty dark in here. It would seem as much? It would seem as much? Seem as much. You idiot. I'm just trying to, you know, help. You know. Is that yelling? Don't gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. <laughs> and since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. Oh! We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? Uh, okay, guy. Chuck, you're right, but, um... <laughs> I was up all night working Jesus. on the business plan. Which one's Maybe, which? Uh, you could just, you know, <laughs> look at it. No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. Your brothers! Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes, you know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, Push the button, can you get Frank. my .8 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a two millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. Top I ranking can't niece. I for you to take over the pillow factory. I you know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Okay. You're in that computer magazine. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna Jeez. pick things up. <laughs> just, just don't do it. I... I'd better not touch it. Neither. Uncle Chuck gets real angry if I'm too nosy about his business affairs. Mm, the cats of nine tails. What? Yes. That is that's oh, a cat of nine tails. Yeah, cat that's five yeah. nine tails. So fucking This is a whole kinky. blend of subcultures now. Oh my god. I don't I think that this is probably a bad idea. This is this is the last glass of wine, but this is the second glass of wine. The last glass <laughs> of wine. Oh Try god. the wine. Oh god, this is Have some more. I'm so excited for this wine. I really love this wine. I want wine. It's yeah, you wanna get some wine? Do you wanna get some wine? I'll be our beat now. One second. One second, one second. Just don't do say it, anything man. I can't hear. <laughs> Oh god. I 
I'm I'm That's still good. trying to like come to terms with how I feel about this game. In what sense? Well, if it weren't for it... my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. I feel like the writing is God, what is it? I feel like there's so much potential and a lot of it is wondered on like jokes that I don't find that funny. But th th there's something you have to remember, which is that in the options menu that I can't I know, open. I know, and, I'm, and that's part of it. Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what the fuck does that do? Because it's, it's, uh, what does it say? Like, like, uh, annoying in-jokes or like... Yeah, annoying in-jokes. Annoying in-jokes. But what are the annoying in-jokes? Like... I, like honestly, like Pillow Factory is kind of not doing it for me. Like that there's a there's a very serious subplot about like the one brother who uh, who takes the the Pillow Factory extremely seriously, and the other brother who wants to make stuffed animals, and that's a disgrace. Like I, that's. I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how into that I can get. And then the characters, like, there's so many characters who just have two syllables that they repeat over and over and over again. Like who? Like, like the Areno guy and the Ahu guy and the, uh, what was this? This one was saying, like, um, I don't know. He was saying something, uh... He had some kind of a a, a verbal tick. I don't know, man. Listen, like I actually kind of feel. Oh, the, though they were the pigeon people who just keep making bird references. I feel like in terms of like the percentage that I'm supposed to be focused on things, I don't really know. Like here, th there's Wait. this there's this weird thing that happens whenever someone who has never played games sits down to play a game, which is that they just don't know what's important. They have yes. no idea. Like, I yes. know that all of this is cosmetic, and this is a traversal point, but, like, I know that I can't use my pie to, like, throw it at someone. You just can't throw a pie right. at someone. Because right. it's obvious to me that you can't do that. And I kind of feel this whenever I'm playing a game that has any sort of experimental nature or some slightly weird weighting of the mechanics where... I just don't know what I'm supposed like to fucking pay attention to. By now. Like, I don't know. Like, for instance, this whole sequence. Did the designers intend for this entire sequence to be a five-minute sequence? And what we're experiencing is the occasional in-joke they planned for the six-minute experience of someone who's exploring. Thus far, it's right. we've been here for like 12, 15 minutes looking at fucking everything, because that's what I do. So then we experience 100% right. of the in-jokes, you know? It's like, maybe it doesn't matter. All right, so part of I think that this week I'm coming at this in the context Hi there, of I was just about to check the mail. Great mm. timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not going to make the your uncle city. Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. <laughs> the back left part of the house looks like Agrabah. It does, yes. It's got some, it has Damn. a variety of gables. Yes. Um, it's uh, so Brightly World, the somebody... best computer magazine oh, yeah. ever. Lameo. There probably was a uh, game <laughs> Too much. Oh my god. Do you have what it takes to become a highly paid game programmer? What does it take? Mucus Slime Games, the makers of hit games Three Lines of Haze and Behind Jaggy Lines, is looking for qualified applicants. Doesn't say, actually. What about the top right, Bill? <laughs> Run us through it. Just complete and mail in this comprehensive programming test, and you could be on your way to an exciting and highly profitable career in computer game development as a mucus lit game programmer. Imagine the perks. Long hours, non-diet soda and pizza, work with people who don't want to get to know you either, 
out-of-date arcade machines in the wreck area. Watch your parent company's profits grow. Oh my wow. god. Holy shit, this is my <laughs> favorite magazine. It's good. Brings me right back to Gen X. I don't... I mean, there's, there's like... Is that supposed to be funny, or is that, like... Yes. Really bitter? Because it feels oh. really bitter to me. Let I mean, me tell you something. Like, in all the media I do, I try to work in one really bitter comment. Maybe if you don't see it, but that's the only outlet I have. Because I'm alone most of the day. I'm with the cats. I can look at the cats and be like, do you know what Simon did to father? Like, yeah, the cat doesn't give a fuck. The cat's just like, <laughs> I love being held. I love attention from my owner. Like, gotta get it out, man. And they probably had a shitty time. And you know what? They probably didn't have an opportunity to get those outlets. Or they're on amazing terms with Lucasfilms. I think, like, honestly, I think that this is, this, like, speaks to me as, you know, mid-90s uh, era style humor, which was, like, totally Gen mm. X, snarky, but I think this is all loving snark, you know what I mean? Like, that's just, it's like, I don't know, Nickelodeon gack. oh, you, it's for kids, not for adults, your boss won't yeah, let I mean, you have it. Actually, now I think of it, even though this particular line sounds bitter, the main character is talking about how much she wants to work at a game company. And the most amazing game no, company that's true. is this. That's true. That's true. You know, this um, is the sort of screenshot that could get them in trouble. A screenshot out of context. Yeah. It was right, a non-contextual exactly. screenshot. I don't think that I don't think that Gilbert Well, do you guys know about this though? I mean the like let's see, Ron Gilbert. It sounds like you know about this though. You know about this though? Ron I don't. I, you you guys know who made this. Though right? <laughs> I don't know about this. You might know Do about this though. I mean, I, I only know Ron Gilbert. I only know yeah, him Ron. from Monkey Island. I so, know that this is a first and, name and, and a last name that when together is famous. So like, yeah, like he was the you know, right? LucasArts thing thing. It's not just some random person ripping on LucasArts. It's oh no the, no no totally the but, dude. But yeah. To me, that's part of what makes it feel like more personal like this isn't just like a generic sort of joking about the yeah. games industry this is this is somebody talking about very specifically their experience working for a particular company yeah like i just i don't i it's hard for me maybe it's the gen x thing Hello, maybe i just like that's not my humor mucus Flynn games my favorite I... game company I hear they make movies too. This yeah, I, 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 I think it's totally uh, loving, I'm snarky Jax. Kind of Interesting. Thing. There's a modem number to call. <laughs> Somebody call. Dig Dig Somebody Dig wants to call me. Dig oh, wait, that's the copyright infringement. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? Not I Have you? <laughs> I'm just digging stuff in the I gotta bring this up after this. But then I put his stuff again all the entire Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. That's what I want to grow up and do. Taken in the front Just screen. note that my entire my entire experience of success and satisfaction is derived by creating problems for myself and then overcoming them. The and the purest screen. example of that is digging holes and filling them back in. Digging. Good. 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 Totally. Yeah, totally. I know. Like, okay, so um, digging. I'm getting in here. So I can't. I'll lick to hook them holes. Wait. Okay, let me let me get in here before anything else is said. Okay, so there's this guy on YouTube, and he does covers of a whole variety of different songs, and in every single one of them, he um he 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 only sings that song that you sang. That somebody once told me the world like for oh, yeah. everything. Yeah, it'll be Love like smells like Teen Spirit by Nirvana, and it like builds up to the lyrics, and he actually just like patiently waits for them. Then it comes up, and there's no lyrics, it's just him going, Somebody once told me the world... Yeah, Smash Mouth guy, that's it, Smash Mouth guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So good. Sick, dude. Mm. Do, 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 and it's so do, funny because I've watched do, 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 do. so many of those videos, and anytime someone links me, I watch the whole video again. How, how do I find this video? Just, just search up. Smash Mouth guy? It's not a video, it's a channel, and he has like 50 videos. Yeah. Okay, Sean, so I would just Google, Somebody once told me the world <laughs> is gonna roll me. That's what's gonna I come I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. 
He was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb on the shape of an L on her forehead. How do I get well, to my home? Um, how long, how much of a song can you sing uh, on Twitch without it? Like, how much of a thing can you sing without it being, with, with it being like I think it depends on how well you going. sing it, Bill. Really? Well, I think if you still sing it badly enough that it's unrecognizable, then you'll never trip the algorithm. <laughs> I don't mean like the algorithm. I mean like the, I mean like, you know, like fair use or whatever. It's all algorithms now. It's all, it's all algorithms. algorithms. It's, it's algorithms Dial all in now. with modem and fill out the look, it's clean application. All right, guys, watch this. I'm gonna use the journal. No, I'm gonna use the computer magazine. I'm gonna just- oh, wow. An ad for a job at Mucus Flem. It's my state of the art Commodore. Shut up, shut up, shut the fuck up. Shut up, use it. Use it. I'm dialing the Mucus Flem modem number. The doorbell's ringing. It sounds like the doorbell. I'm ignoring. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer's connected to Mucus Flem. Welcome to the new online Mucus Flem job application program. <sighs> Just Damn. fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then God, I hope there's the a hacking and game. send it to Mucus Flam. Oh, yes. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Dolores. Oh, you have to choose. I just the go levels. Dolores. Dolores Edmund. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be Del Edmund or Dolores uh, Edmund or Dolores Annie Edmund. It's too long. Thank you. What is your address? Too long. Her initials are DAE. DAE applying for job, lol. <laughs> wait, mm. wait, 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 it, it, it's... Different. Is it, uh, which state are we in? Wyoming, Washington... Why can you fail this? this is Wyvern or Wisconsin? Wyvern, uppercut! Washington, right? It's West Virginia. Virginia. Wisconsin. Oh, West Virginia. Oh, it's yeah, not yeah. Wisconsin, and it's not. It's not Wisconsin. it's not Wisconsin. I think it's actually West Virginia. Noted. It could be. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Uh, basic. Basic. He loves uh, basic, right? Loves basic. Interesting choice. Please answer oh, the following let's... questions about Look, our proprietary Lucas programming language. Ah. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First Maybe. question: How many parameters can functions take? Um. Oh, dang. That's a bad question. That's I mean, that's a bad It'd be better sign. to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. Holy shit, I we gotta to fill go out a fucking job application. Yeah! Fuck! Oh, fucking yeah. ass dicks. Alright, let's now go. Now it gets real. Now it gets real. Double ass dicks. Wow. Quite that a mouth. Like the doorbell. Quite a mouth. Use warp speed double right click. Hi again, George. It's not Cute. like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. I'm opening it. My I'd big crazy ex. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. <laughs> this envelope would know that Uncle Chuck Wait, is. But ripped. why? Why do you want to read it? Just because it's an adventure game? So I'm gonna give first aid to those. You got some cheese bottles and some batteries cheese in here. Good. Batteries. I kept There's batteries some in the refrigerator. Can of non-trademark in infringing poopsie. <laughs> poopsie. Carefully handling broken glass. Ooh. If this were a Sierra online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. <laughs> but the new yeah. Flam adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary deaths just to extend gameplay. Sure would like to work there. Hey, fuck you, I love Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, there's nothing you know inside. what I hate there's in games, but inside. I love it. I love hate it. There's nothing, there's that? nothing, there's nothing, Games there's, that when you there's touch nothing fire, inside. You actually get hurt. Pretty clean, considering. Really? What is, like, you mean in Mario, flaming 
Circuit. Uh, not in, not in Mario, but like, oh, I mean, uh, sorry, I mean like in RPGs or like Zelda or whatever. Like, like in an RPG, like a JRPG, you walk up to like a torch or like a fireplace, and then you see if you can move onto it, and you do, and you, it just hurts you. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> and it's, it's yeah, one of those things. Yeah, I liked that in the old school, like the really old school text adventures, when you do things like that, where it's like, touch fire, and you'd be like, it burns, stupid. <laughs> the game would just, like, insult you if you did sufficiently dumb inputs. Yes. Oh my god, dude. My I... Twitch said, I think we definitely all do fire checks. Yeah. Yes. No, that's true. That, that is a... That's a universal. Yep. It's a human universal. It is a universal. It's a human universal. This is my friend, Human Universe. There's goop, nothing goop, inside. Goop, goop, there's no, there's goop. nothing inside. There's nothing. There's nothing inside. Oh, except an empty glass. Fucking pick it up. Good. There's nothing inside. It'd be oh. amazing if she just said that into the mirror every morning, like for. <laughs> <laughs> the fireplace looks very clean. Let's open the fireplace. I can't open that. All right. She she's too far up against that sprite. Oh my god, dude. The exercise is catching up with me. I'm starting to fall apart. But we're gonna make oh, it. Oh Jesus. Okay. Jesus. No, what is it? Wait, what Index kind of Tron 3000 library Index filing Tron. lookup system? It uses the Spewy Decimal system to catalog books. Spewy Decimals. Spewy. This is Uncle Chuck's Index Bro. Tron. Use it. Hmm. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. Isn't that the forbidden section? <laughs> is that... Don't we... Wouldn't we prefer a book about basic? <sighs> uh, oh. No, because we have to talk to, about their proprietary language. Ah. Uh... Which is probably like s s spewy bar <clears throat> or something. So we should probably... Yeah, we, we don't want to choose basic as preferred language. Like, we want to choose whatever their favorite language is. Um... Uh, maybe depends. I would say that if if we find that their language is not on the options for our preferred language, we should say that basic is our preferred language, and then proceed to answer the questions correctly about their language. Mm, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna just. I don't think we should say bye, Dad. I love you because say just goodbye. Hurts. Say goodbye to your father. I just see my dad <laughs> sitting. Look at how look at, look at the sad dad in the chair. Sad dad. Oh, what a sad he had a dad. Rough day. Yeah, he did. <laughs> He's the sort of guy, like, you know what a sad dad is? A sad dad is someone who goes to Vegas, wakes up, oh. has brunch, loses $20 on the slot machine, and someone says, What'd you do today? And it's like, Partied pretty hard. I enjoyed Vegas, man. Like, that's the sad dad right there. You're like, <laughs> Let me, let, so I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to indulge a sad dad. I want to go ahead and ask Uncle Chuck. Uncle Chuck never Shoot. should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Oh my Dad, god. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. Remember, always ask your children for support. Don't try to raise them. Just have them reassure you. That's how it's Jesus. done, Frowndar. <laughs> well, I like no, I mean, wow. like, I wish I had a stick around Dark. It was a bad was. idea. He's right. He's never Just even read it. Terrible. Be right. very passive aggressive about your outreach for support. You need more confidence and stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. One of the best daughters out there. Bye, Dad. I love you. It's weird. Never say that in a video game. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Goodbye. Oh, man. Oh, no return, I love you. Sick Not even in I know. That's, that's rough. That's so straight fuck. Let's look at the sign. It says, out of order. The it's sign says it's out of The sign says it's out of order. No one staircase will miss this out of, out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. I play adventure games! I play this shit! Get fucked, everyone! I picked it up! Woo! Whoa. Oh, <sighs> boy. <laughs> Stupid. 
Sobe Boxite said, I've seen too many murder mysteries. Whenever anyone says someone else knows what's best for the business, I automatically suspect that person. It's <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> incredible. Well, except that we know that in the future it does get <laughs> turned into a plush toy factory, right? Don't we? Oh, it does? Oh, God. I wasn't paying attention to that part of the game. I mean, wasn't that wasn't that the whole like original murder mystery? Was that he he lost his exciting prototype plush toy that he was oh. carrying, and so that is the oh, obvious right. motive for somebody having murdered him? Except that it's um, unclear. Yeah. I'm right? laughing so am I, much. Am about... I making all of this up? I think you are. I think you're hallucinating. No, I think, this I is a platformer. Good lord. Dude, like, yeah, I, I just saw the pseudo RM dash RF. All like, <laughs> That's... yeah, yeah. Is that hmm, interesting? It's a pretty hard. No, troll. I mean, I, I, I love the way that all things in programming work this way, where you're like, get push origin. It's like, ah, we're worried that the base you're working on is not up to date. Are you sure your references are correct? And you're like, get push dash force. God damn it! And it's like, it's pushed. <laughs> we pushed it. That's how I solve my problems with get get push dash f space origin. Oh yeah, no, it works great. That's yeah, fine. History destroyed. It it is the it is the programming equivalent of I need you to get this done. Well, I don't know. I think that it'll probably take a while. To get it done. Okay. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, off. interesting. I shouldn't take this out of the library. There it is. There it is. Pick it up, look at it, push it, pull it, use it. Oh no, you got it. All right, let me double click for warp speed. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so great. Okay. The following book is blah 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 blah. Da, 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 no, no, no. Da, da. Sean, I want you to take the left page, Bill, right page. Sean, do it for us. Can you read this? Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, the following book is proprietary and confidential. Any unauthorized reproduction is punishable by fines and or prison. Copyright 1986. Mucus Flem Limited. All rights reserved for internal company use only. Mucus is the greatest adventure game scripting language ever created. Mucus was first used in the revolutionary game Mansion... Mansion. <laughs> Uh, Mucus is a cooperative multitasking language allowing multiple scripts to run concurrently. It allows for up to 256 room local variables. Functions take up to eight parameters. Hit us, hit okay. us, Bill. The Mucus source level debuggers run on a separate monitor. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. Compiled scripts are packed into MFL files for distribution. Shipped games are encoded using the unbreakable XOR encryption. That's good. Oh. Eight actors can be display displayed on the screen at one time. Room backgrounds are compressed into character sheets. When a screen scrolls, it moves by eight pixels. Up to 256 sounds can be defined for each game. Oh, yeah. I think I what? got most of that. I think we've got it. No, I got 100%. I'm not going to remember all me? the numbers. Are you, okay. No, so just, I... Like, yeah, we have, we, have, we have Day 9 with us. That's going to be... It's if a it's weird... a map, like, I still have the map for all of the things in fucking Return to Zork map perfectly in my head. Do. Yeah, of course. Of course you do. I'm gonna use the computer tronics. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming oh, goes language. right to it. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many parameters can functions take? Eight, eight parameters. Eight. Oh, Joe. Boom. Next question, what kind of multitasking does Mucus use? Cooperative. Cooperative. Oh, yeah. Next question, how many actors can be displayed at one time? Eight. 
Eight. Eight. Next question. When a game ships, it is encrypted using... Unbreakable, Unbreakable XOR! XOR! Yes! Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the Mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Oh, it's printed on the... Is that oh a typewriter? It's a typewriter with robot arms. Yeah. yeah. That is the fucking most brilliant printer concept I've ever seen. I know, right? It's it's like printer auto fellatio. It just goes at itself <laughs> until it's done. Let me pick it up. <laughs> Looking at it. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe I know. The printer is out of ink. No ink. I'm out of ink! All right, hold on. Use ink bottle. I can't read ink the ribbon with an empty bottle of printer ink. Fuck shit, that's such a good point. Sean, like, what the hell? Do you not understand how printer anything printer works? works? No, I can't believe I've done this. La 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 la. Ink. Uh, let me give the ink bottle to Uncle Dick. Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores, you know how busy I am right now. Maybe your father would be interested. You have your work and nothing more. <laughs> it's a defunct robot prototype. Okay, where do we get ink, you think? Uh, squids. Uh, Circuit City. It's pretty good. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. Do you think I have to use, like, the Pepsi with I the cheese? I don't feel like the taste for non-trademark infringing poopsie now. I don't think they're good for anything, except growing mold. I, I was thinking that we have to mix things together until it's black. Oh, okay. Alright. And then it's ink. I'm using the Pepsi. I'm using the Pepsi with it. I'm just doing it. You guys, that is, I mean, that's we also, literally I don't feel like a monkey taste island gag, right? We also now. have, I think I'll just be uh, ketchup. Ugh, I'm Did you try definitely ketchup? not hungry for soggy could, we lettuce. We could print out a red application. Very Ooh. bold. Well, when I hit use. You'll make an impression. I think I'll just be careful with them. That's good enough for now. Take that, Sierra Online. It's Uncle, it, 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 it's Uncle Chuck's new invention. <laughs> so, we, we need to get some ink. We need ink. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to the Sad Dad and see if he's got anything. Go to Sad Dad. Hey, get Sad Dad. Ink. Chuck is such a bully. Sticky Buns Jim Serigliano. Look at 3572. I think I'm gonna call you. Oh, this is before answering machines. When the phone would just ring lonely. Like a, like a sad bird mating season. A sad never never be a dad. A sad bird in mating season. Chucky's been in our season. family for years. He's a good Chucky has been sitting here forever. I don't want to move him now. Why not flush toys? It is the dead of night. But one bird remains. Signaling. For all time. Lonely. There's some really sad pan outs of an absolutely going to die animal in those Planet Earth or any David Attenborough documentaries. Just like, oh, yeah. <sighs> winter draws near, no shelter can be found for <laughs> all. And it just shows a bear just wandering around being like, fuck, 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 fuck. And then it just is like, <laughs> meanwhile, in the plains of the Serengeti, and I'm like, what about the bear? What about the bear in the winter? The bear in the winter that wasn't going to get the home? What happens to that bear? <laughs> If you we think... got one bear in the winter, bear in the winter, two bear in the winter, bear in the winter, Sean, winter two, four, five, five, two, five, bear in the mm. winter, bear in the winter. I think you know what happens to the bear. The bear dies, but I don't want to be told that, right? In the, the same way that, like, I know... It's completely fucked. <laughs> 
if you think I'll never tell you what happens to the bear, you'd be right. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's sort of like, I know I know how food's prepared. I know how food's prepared. And I don't want to see every meat plant. I don't, I don't want to do that. Every I've seen them. I don't want to re-see them. And I rewatched, or I watched for the first time this weekend, Okja. Oh, boy. What is that? I don't know what that is. You uh, you just gotta see it. It's a movie I've by Bong, by uh, Bong Joon Ho who did uh, The Host and Snowpiercer and um, Memories of Murder. And he's, he's this amazing South Korean director. Movie, right? It's not as fuck. It's absolutely yeah. insane. I yeah, it, it is the weirdest movie I've ever movie. seen. Confirmed. Confirmed. Spoilers. Weirdest. Oh look, it's hot sauce. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Use... I think Bam. I'll just be careful with them. That's, I don't think they're good for anything, except growing mold. Molder. Use bottle of ink with cheese. I can't use the bottle with that. Use bottle of ink with Pepsi. I can't use the bottle use with bottle that. Of ink with batteries. I can't use the use bottle, with bottle of ink with cabbage. I can't use the bottle with that. Use the bottles of ketchup. Be use with them. the That's glass good enough for with now. the. Take using an empty glass with a bottle isn't going to help. Use the you hot sauce. You can pour yourself a big glass of nothing. Whoa! There it is. Wow. Uh, okay. Wait, what'd you do? I used hot sauce. There's she nothing inside. The fire in the rain. Right, I'm leaving. This clock, this clock looks vaguely familiar. Is this a monkey I Island game. It. It's the Day of the Tentacle Clock. Oh, okay. It's a gas can. It's a gas can. I like okay, that he's in a so. different position. It's special digging, gas. Digging for different holes. Saws only. It's pretty full. It's very dry. It's a log of firewood. Oh, for fuck's sake. Taken in the I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. You know, I think I know what we need to do. I think we need a, the mansion mansion. We need to find a book that tells us the recipe for ink. I think that's what we need to do. Oh. Because I play adventure games. Uh, uh unfortunately, most Chuck, of the books Chuck's were written by a Kickstarter back. I don't need to find any books now. Maybe one of these Kickstarter backers knows how to make ink. I assume they're all just swears and erotic fan fiction. In that order. <laughs> or combination of the two. If I use some gasoline with this. Better not. That might start a fire. Better not. <laughs> that might start a fire. <laughs> the label says it's called Cat 509 Tales. I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks great. Pie? We're, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna take a break. <laughs> I don't understand what the fuck we're supposed to do, but we're gonna take a break for a few minutes. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure.